am starting to experience like different things now with like my supporters. But basically, off the top, like my supporters are into me in what I do for like a very distinctive reason that's different from a lot of like artist and fan relationships. Like I do inspiring things, right? Like I wrote a book that is called Did I Ever Wake Up? That not only changed my life, but like, I mean, this book has now sold 35,000 copies. It's like a Times number one fucking bestseller. And it like has helped out so many kids. So like these kids come up to me and like when they say like, you know, you know you when you hear someone say to an artist like, oh, you like your music saved my life. Like, you know, I get it. Like I've had music like save my life, but I have people to say like my book really saved their life. And like, that's something that I can connect to a little more differently than my music. Cause in my music, I'm like, man, like which song touched you? I'd like to know. But in my book, I know every sentence in there. I know every single thing that you read. So my people like approach me in like this really like loving way. And I never have like this crazy thing. Like I'll never, I'll never, like I want, I want the stars, man. I want to be one of the biggest to ever do it. I want to be a legend, but I will never ever walk around the city with like a security guard. I'll never try to hide myself. I'll never do any of that. My people that like me are like literally another piece of me. You know what I'm saying? And they inspire me now. That's like one of my whole goals in life is like for me to inspire my inspirations. Like people like Travis Barker and shit like that. Who like I have songs with now and shit like that. But I always wanted to inspire my inspirations. So now I put that out there and these kids like kind of do that. They bring me art. They bring me their books. They bring me their stuff and it's like, a very special, special relationship. So like, as far as craziness goes, I don't, I don't get that walk out the hotel and ah, there he is. I don't get that. People walk up to me like, hey man, like, thanks. How I created this book, which I write many books now, but how I created a whole lane for me artistically in general is that, um, how did I decide to write this book is very simple. And it's that I knew to do anything, and this sticks with me now, it'll stick with me forever, and it's something that I'd like everyone to take something from. It's like, to do anything, you have to do it one time, okay? Like, Steven Spielberg, I promise you his first film he made was shit, I promise you. In high school or college, whenever he made it, his first film was shit. But if he didn't do it, he would not be who he is. So all you have to do is do something one time, and then you are perpetuating yourself to be that, okay? So me, I said to myself, I want a list of things when I die that says he did this, 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 this. One of those things, I want to be author. He was an author. So in my head, how am I gonna do that? Write a book, write a book. Same with painting. How am I gonna be an artist? I have to paint. That's all I have to do. How to be a musician, I have to make music. And so I know that to do to become anything, you have to do it one time. So I have a book out called Did I Ever Wake Up? And uh, I'm gonna share with you a very inspirational story that stuck with me forever and will stay with me forever about something that happened throughout the process of that book. Cause I came from a fucked up family, man. I came from a broken family. Not, not that my family's fucked up. My mom's an angel, but she's crazy. My dad is not an angel, but he's fucking crazy. He looks like me, acts like me, but he's 60 something. Go look at his Instagram, you'll see. <laughs> um, but I, so I came from a, a, a kind of a fucked up family situation like that, like divorce and, and parents not um, like being cordial with each other, lots of fighting, stuff like that. I had this girl, a very young girl, buy my book and uh, buy it offline. And when it arrived at the house, her mom um, looked at the book and was like, what the hell is this? My kid's ordering a book? Like, Another thing, when you see a kid asking their parents to order a fucking book, changing the game. So like, she's like, I'm gonna read this book before I let my kid read. I wanna see what this is all about because on the cover, I'm sitting there like smoking weed. So she's like, let me see what this book's about. She read it and she passed it to her husband and her husband read it. And they came to, then they, they loved it and they gave it to their daughter and they came to one of my shows within like three weeks after that. And the mother came up to me and she's like, the daughter's like way in the back. She didn't even come up to the merch ship. She didn't even give a fuck. The mother comes up and gives me the biggest hug. And she's like, listen, she's like, me and my husband, we're about to get divorced. Like we're about to break it to the kid that we're getting divorced. And we both read your book and it saved our marriage, you know? And I was like, yo, cool for you. Cool for you, the two that had their marriage saved, but ultimately cool for the fucking kid. Like that's cool. The kid now 
Mm-hmm. And and whether or not, like, I, I, I don't know this family, whether or not it, it remained that, I'm just saying, like, cool for the kid to be able to have their parents, like, save their shit and not put them through hell, because that shit's tough, bro. When you're young, man, that shit can fuck you up, so. So that's something that always stays with me. It's like, I, in my eyes, man, I saved a marriage. 